What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about kind of Modern Warfare as a whole. The game has been out for, what, almost 10 months now. It came out uh, October 23rd, of course, 2019. Um, and in my opinion, the first five months of the game, I enjoyed more than I have the past four or five months. Uh, now, that's not saying I don't like the game. I do enjoy the game. I still have fun with the game. But overall, I just feel like it was not what I expected it to be at now at this point. Um, and there's a lot of things that a lot of people like, a lot of people don't like about the game. And that's kind of with every Call of Duty title. I feel like one thing that has kind of disappointed me the most would probably be the map design. Uh, there's not just a handful of maps that I can think of that I even like to play in multiplayer, like Team Deathmatch, Dom, that kind of thing. There's a couple ground war maps that are all right. The rest of them, not really that great. Um, I just feel like in past COD games, there was always that map where you had a blast playing with your friends. One of those maps where you always knew that you were going to have a great KD on that map no matter who you were playing with or, you know, what you were using. And so some of those maps that you know that people just knew they could automatically get a nuke on in some past Modern Warfare titles. Uh, it's just in general, I, I think map design was not as good as it could have been. But at the same time, I feel like there are some maps that are enjoyable. And I think it's kind of a mixed bag with a lot of people's opinions when it comes to maps in-game. Some people like the maps, some people don't. But I just feel overall there's not a lot of memorable maps in-game. Uh, one thing that really just irks me that I'm going to throw in here is the changing of the playlist. I know a lot of people love Shoot House 24-7. Why that has not been a playlist since Shoot House was released, I'm not sure why they have to add in playlist, remove playlist, add in playlist, remove playlist. That is something that really just gets on my nerves. I wish they would quit doing that. And I know they want to introduce new playlists in the game, but I think they should just keep these things, especially that are really, really popular. Uh, Kill House 24-7 is something the players have asked for and have asked for week after week. Update after update every Tuesday, that's what players ask for. And I'm not sure why it is removed. That's just one thing that's really irked me about this year's title. Uh, I think the one thing that we all can agree on that has bothered everyone is whatever kind of system that's skill-based matchmaking in the game. I'm not sure exactly how it works or how it implements who you're going to play, but it seems like it really has affected the enjoyment of the game in multiplayer and, of course, in Warzone. And it feels like, in my opinion, the first several months of the game, the first month of Warzone, it was not as bad as it is now. It seems like the longer the game has been out, the worse this system has kind of become. And I, and I know a lot of people don't want to go in and just get absolutely pub stomped, and I understand that. I completely understand that. I know they have to have a certain percent of players that, that are not good at the game, that, that, that can't be thrown in with players that are decent or very, very good at the game because it's just not going to be fair. But at the same time, I don't feel like every game you play, whether it be multiplayer or Warzone, you should have to be playing your best. You should have to be top, on top of your game. You should have to be pretty much just, as most people say, just – pure sweat, you know, just sweaty lobbies. And I don't feel like that should have to be uh, something that you have to do game in and game out. The reason I say that is it makes the grind just kind of disappointing and kind of not fun, in my opinion. If you want to play a lot, if you're having to play that hard game in and game out, it really just kind of discourages you from playing a lot. And personally for me, I don't mind it. I, mean, I like competitive lobbies, but at the same time, I can understand why a lot of people just say they can't get on and play very long because of those style lobbies. So I think the skill-based match, skill matchmaking, whatever form it is kind of in in this game, has really hurt the game overall, and I wish it would have been adjusted months ago instead of kind of going on this long. When Warzone was released, I, I feel like it became so popular and it's so big, and it still is, and I'm glad people love Warzone. You guys know I'm not a huge BR fan. No matter what BR it is, I will play them. I don't absolutely love them. I enjoyed uh Warzone more to begin with than I do now. Uh, some of the reasons I've already listed, of course, is why. But at the same time, I feel like the game has been tailored more towards Warzone, which is a good thing because it's bringing people to the game. It's bringing new members or new community members to the game. People that might not have played Call of Duty in a while, people have, that have played Call of Duty before. It's just bringing a lot of people to the game, and that's always great for a game. It's always great for a game to get kind of recognition and people to see it for what it is and people to you know, have something, it, it, to me it was great to get kind of Call of Duty uh, kind of advanced even further on the map of multiplayer games. You know, Call, Call of Duty has always been popular, but now it's even more popular because of Warzone. And 
I, I feel like though the one problem is is, is development wise, update wise, a lot of stuff has been mainly for Warzone. Now there still has been updates for multiplayer, but I feel like the the pro scene has kind of hurt because of this. I, I'm a big fan of esports, no matter. Really, I watch a lot of different type, style of esports. It would be shooters or MMOs or that kind of thing, or like things like even League of Legends. I, I, I like to watch a lot of different esports kind of uh, of games. And Call of Duty is one I've always enjoyed watching as well. And it feels like that the, the updates have been made more tailored towards Warzone. So the just multiplayer fans, you know, want to play Team Deathmatch, that want to play Dom kind of suffer. And I feel like the pro scene has suffered somewhat. Now, there has been some updates, don't get me wrong, for multiplayer, uh, for the pro league. But I feel like it was, Warzone was so big, so quick, that it, everything else just kind of was put on the back burner. Uh thought about less I guess is kind of my opinion now, it may not be the case but it's just kind of how I feel and I think that's kind of hurt the game overall the last several months and, and kind of to close this or kind of just to finish this off I still think it is a very fun game to play but I like I said kind of at the start in the last 10 months it seems to be the the beginning of, of the game was more enjoyable now than the ending of the game and that kind of leads me to my final thought i'm really looking forward to treyarch's game i I know we don't have any really clue exactly what's going to happen we really haven't had a reveal yet which is odd this is late in the year not to even have a reveal for a call of duty game but i am definitely looking forward to a treyarch game as long as it doesn't have specialist i will be so happy to play a treyarch game because treyarch seems to be a little bit more balanced now than a lot of the other development teams that have worked on call of duty uh kind of figuring out exactly what the players need what the players want and kind of balancing out as a whole throughout their entirety of their game no matter what modes or whatever is in it and of course we all know warzone is going to most likely be in kind of just an extension now of each game so hopefully they're going to have a dev team for that a dev team for multiplayer you know this stuff will be kind of sorted out over the years this was a new year uh for something like this to kind of come to the game and be so popular so i think it's going to progress and become better as the years go on anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet Please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.